Hello, Dave Dog here with Bradford Park Avenue, the road to glory. And we have some possible light at the end of the tunnel, some good news for a change. After the last episode in which we got beat quite easily by Chorley 3-0 in the FA Trophy third round, we put into effect a formation and tactic that was suggested by one of our viewers in the comments. The first game we played it away at Merthyr. Merthyr up there near the playoffs and we drew 1-1. Caleb Hughes scored for Merthyr just before half time and 42 minutes and David Hamid got us a point six minutes from time equalising and getting himself the man of the match. He came on a sub. We initially, as we've only won forward in this formation, we played Finn O'Boyle up front because the tactic is basically a 4-3-3 with two wide men and a striker. We have been playing Finn O'Boyle as the attacking midfielder, number 10 role, that's his only position. So we tried him up front, that didn't come off, as you can see, he only got 6.3. He was the worst player based on match ratings. We brought on David Hamed and he did the business and got us a point. We carried on with that. It seems to have shored up our defensive problems. The first game in the new year, 2024, was on New Year's Day at Boston. Again, Boston are up there around the playoff and we drew that match 2-2. We played Finn O'Boyle this time in a central midfield role, but more withdrawn as an attacking midfielder and he didn't like that one either, 6.5. We took the lead through Hamed, five minutes, carried on his good work from coming on a sub in the last game. They equalised through Scott Pollock on 78 and took the lead through David Omelabu on 82 minutes. Carter Denson on as a sub, got as an equaliser again on 84 minutes. So another point on the road and a good point. Hamed got 7.5 so when Denson came on, played two up front. So he's slightly adjusting this tactic as we go along. Good performances from Lund and Staunton at 7.5 and 7.2. Connor Ferguson, 6.9. We're playing Lucas Dunstan in the defensive midfield role. He signed a new contract recently saying he wanted to play in his favourite position of right back. But we're playing him in this role at the moment until we can find someone else or we can convince him. We're training him to play this position and he's doing quite well. Again, as I said, Finn O'Boyle not sitting well in this formation as a more withdrawn central midfielder on attack. But 2-2, we move to the next game and... That was Southport at home. Southport mid-table. Jordan Archer there. Free scoring forward. Scored after five minutes. I thought, oh no, we're back to the old style again. But then we took over the game and had the most of the momentum. And we equalised through a, a Will Longbottom penalty after Hamed had been fouled. Uh, Hamed not playing so well in this game. 6.5. But we did move back to a more diamond-shaped midfield although we've only got one wider player so it's a diamond with the width missing from it so we've got Lucas Dunstan as a defensive midfielder in this case Sam Field in, in the middle in front of him and Finn O'Boyle in front but he still didn't play that well 6.6 .6, and was withdrawn and we put Alex Simpson in that position later on in the game and another point although we could have easily won that game good performance by Sam's he's playing well at the back and Staunton 7.6 .6 and 7.1 GSK 6.5, although I didn't see him do a great deal wrong. Maybe he could have stopped their goal. There's green shoots coming through, shall we say. We're not conceding lots of goals. Conceded four in three and scored four in three. So if we can convert these draws to wins, we may start moving up the table. So let's have a look where we are. Still in the bottom four. Third from bottom. One point behind Braintree, who are outside. And one point behind Kettering, who are fourth from bottom. And then there's a bit of a gap to Geisley. So a lot of work to do, and as I say, we need to start scoring goals. Finn O'Boyle was our top scorer with 14, and we really need to sort that end of it out now. <laughs> well, we've always had a problem scoring goals. We've also had a problem letting them in. So let's see how we go on today then. Let's have a look at the team we've put out. A slight rotation on this team. It's only three days after our previous game. So this is how we're lining up. Attacking midfielder O'Boyle, rather than being at the side of Spencer. If we look at him as an attacking midfielder, on support he's three stars if we move him back to where this tactic had him to start with as a central midfielder 
as you can see, he's not good in any of those positions, in then deeper positions. We we'll put him back in his attacking midfield role, and if we look at him, he can play in those two positions. He played as a striker, but didn't do well. And if we look at that one, that's a makeshift position. We've got to get our best player into the team, although he's not in form at the moment. We've brought Fielding back to right back. We have been playing Niall Osborne, our new signing, but he's not in form at all. Not doing anything majorly wrong, but he's not playing as well as the other defenders. Sams and Staunton are playing really well as a pair there, especially Sams and Staunton's our best defender, obviously. So much so that he's actually wanted by Gillingham so we may get some transfer money in in this transfer window if they come in with a bid he's under contract to the end of the year he won't sign another contract not with us in this position if we don't get a fee for him in January then we'll probably lose him for nothing at the end of the season we're persisting with Connor Ferguson at left back he's had up and down games but I'm going to continue to play him the reason for that was Mitch Lund is tired and was advised not to play him a Dunstan Playing really well in that defensive midfield role, although not wanting to play there. Spencer comes in and Fielding drops back to right back. Hopper comes in on the right hand side for injured Brad Doherty. He's going to be out for two weeks. Ankle ligaments, which he did in the last game. Oh, Boyle at number 10. Longbottom on the left and Hamed up front. Substitutes today Mitch Lund, Niall Osborne, Lloyd Smith, Alex Simpson, and Carter Denson. Going in balanced. Slightly higher tempo, we've taken a lot of the instructions off. Goalkeeper to distribute quickly, counter attack and counter press, and mid block trigger press more often. It's been working for us defensively. We're up against a team today in Fylde who we should be beating if we want to get further up the table. And let's get into today's game then. So it's Fylde that gets underway in this crucial game, and they are the bookies' favourites at 6 to 5. And. Uh, an early highlight there just to kick off they have won their last two games so they've moved away from us I think they're about six points in front of us in the table and the early momentum is with them although we've not had a shot on target they've had two on target and two corners so we really need to do something about this let's have a shout and demand more tell a Dunstan to mark Luke Charman where's Luke Charman their striker why is a Dunstan our defensive midfielder going to do that as I said, this Danny Boschel is giving me some real poor information. And look at that. No shots at all. But we've got two corners. How do you manage that without having a shot? 32% possession. It's not good enough. And we're going to get in the dressing room and sort these guys out. Because that is poor. Let's have a look. We have not need more possession in the second half from this point. Yet yeah, we're going to go with that one. Point the finger. And that's motivated more or less everybody except Harrison Hopper who's nervous and Will Longmock composed. We'll get into the second half and hopefully be better than the first because that was very poor. I don't think we had a highlight really at all. Just the kickoff and uh, nothing's happening again. We've uh, been we've gone back into the red again. What's this? Restart and one yellow card. Take the notice of that. Don't matter about yellow cards. And 70 minutes is up. Here we have a highlight. A long ball. And that is a real highlight, isn't it? So GSK picks it up. He's coming out in his sweeper roll. Gives it to Ferguson. To Spencer. We might have an attack here. Ferguson coming forward. Back to Spencer. Spencer to Adunston. Adunston's coming forward. Can we play it wide? No, he's going on his own. Yes, he has played it wide. Hopper's up there. Can he beat the fullback easily? No, oh, plays it back to fielding. Some weird play here. But Hopper's in the box. Plays it in. O'Boyle back on his scoring form. A tap in really there. Good play by Hopper. And uh, we take the lead on 72 minutes. That's something we haven't done for a little while. Fielding. Hopper running the fullback there. Just letting him in. And what a finish there on the volley. Guides it in, Finn O'Boyle, 15th goal of the season, and we're doing well. As I say, we've gone into the red because crowds are going down. I think the crowd estimated crowd for this was only about 480 or something. And what worries me here, we've got a highlight straight away. Press Connor Barrett, yeah, we've got, here's Connor Barrett. Get him pressed then, stop him crossing. No, you're not going to, hear. Charman is up, and there we have an equaliser straight away. That lead didn't last long at all. Look at all these players here are tired. 
so we're going to shout demand more and we're going to make some subs we're not going to see that again because that was very poor we we're supposed to press in that guy so let's make some changes then we've got a lot of tired players here maybe that contributed it fielding's not playing well at right back and he's very poor so let's bring Niall Osborne on for fielding a Dunstan very poor at 6.5 just as I was pulling him up playing in that position he's not playing so well we're really short we need central midfielders Hopper can play there can't he so if we move Spencer back to the defensive midfield and play Hopper instead of a Dunstan so on the right we're going to bring Lloyd Smith on as a right winger Hamed at 6.2 he's fired up but should I bring Denson on 75 yeah I'm going to bring Carter Denson on for Hamid. He might be fired up, but he's not playing well. So, three changes. Osborne, Smith and Denson come on for Fielding, Dunstan and Hamid. Let's give him a team talk. That's worked well in one or two. Have faith in you. Go and make a difference. Oh, that's good. Seeing plays look happy, composed. Into the last 15 minutes plus added time. And can we stop these draws? Look at that momentum. It's more or less filed. Tell Sam's to mark him, go on then we'll do that, but it's not going to work. It looks like we're going to get another draw. Demand more. No, another draw, four successive draws with this tactic. Well, at least we're not losing, but we need to get three points. Finn O'Boyle, man of the match, so he's come back to form. We didn't create much at all, 0.3 XG. We've really robbed them and got a point out of that. Two shots, two on target to their 15 and 7. All I can say about this tactic is uh, stopping us conceding goals, but it's also stopping us scoring goals as well. Probably we've not got the players to fit into this system and may have to sacrifice one of these wingers and, and make this more of a diamond or play another man up front. But we'll see how we go. That has moved us level with Braintree, but we've played a game more. We've played two games more than Kettering. We're 22 points from 25 games, three points behind the relegation ratio. Geisley, four points behind them so we really need to start winning some games soon let's see what we've got coming up so look at that we've drawn last six games in the league not won in the league since 25th of november and we're now middle of january tamworth at home was our last win 2 nil. so really we're winning one game a month i'm gonna play through quite a few games now when we come back we might have some uh, recruitment and strengthening of the squad we need at least one midfielder preferably out and out defensive midfielder we'll come back for gloucester away where are gloucester gloucester a 10th but thanks again for watching if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time for now this is dave dog goodbye <laughs>